His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was keen to follow up over the phone on the participation of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Royal Endurance Team Captain His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the 160 kilometer race of the Montpellier Endurance Championship in France. His Majesty's constant follow up has contributed to His Highness Sheikh Nasser's success in winning the race well deservedly. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pride in His Majesty the King's fatherly follow-up, affirming that it has played a major role in enabling him to clinch the first place and continue bringing about more landmark achievements to the Kingdom of global and European sporting events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that the new success is the fruitful outcome of His Majesty the King's unwavering follow-up on Bahraini athletes at external competitions. His Majesty King Hamad congratulated His, nice, his, his Highness Sheikh Nasser at the end of the race. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was crowned as champion of the Mon Pazir International Endurance Championship, which is here held in France for a distance of 160 kilometers amid a wide participation of world riders. With the follow up of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Author Authority for Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Team Rider. Mohammed Al Hashimi came in second place. His Highness Sheikh Nasser uh, proved uh, that a successful leader always aims to reach and maintain on top, as His Highness was able to achieve the title in the first participation after the last World Championship that was held in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that this uh, new achievement, which is added to the series of prominent achievements of the Bahraini endurance sport, is a reflection of the care this sport receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as the constant support of His Royal. His Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed appreciation for the continuous follow up of His Highness Sheikh Khalid throughout the stages of the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that this achievement shall be a great motivation for the Royal Endurance team in preparation for the upcoming events as the team is looking forward to continuing to attain achievements in the upcoming participations.
التهنئه والتبريكات لكم طويل العمر تعني الكثير بطل العالم يكرر انجازه في فرنسا الحمد لله على كل حال آه هذه بطوله تجريبيه لبطوله العالم جينا واثبتنا وجود وشاركنا بقوه ونافسنا بقوه الله وفقنا اليوم والله وفقنا في سماع صوت الشوخ بين كل مرحله ومرحله والله وفقني بحضور العيال وامهم شلون ما تبيني اليوم ادي كل اللي عندي عطيت اللي عندي كله ودار كله عاده يعني دائما ما ما يرد الا يعني بالخبر اللي احنا نبغيه والله الحمد اليوم فوز كبير وتجربه كبيره بطولة العالم السنة الجاية لنا إن شاء الله بصر. العمر في اللقاء اللي صار مع مذيع السباق كررت بأن بطولة العالم وراح تكرر بطولة السنة القادمة إن شاء الله بإذن الله طبعا التوافيق عند الله احنا بنجتهد بنشتغل ليل نهار وبنفكر شو نطور روحنا والسباق غالب ومغلوب في كل الحالات احنا نتقبل هذه الظروف طول العمر لنجال الله يحفظهم إن شاء الله شاهدوا تسجيل وتحقيق بطولة لسموكم فهذه أعتقد رسالة لهم ولكم الله يسلمك كل اللي أقدر أقوله أن الله يحقق أمال الأهالي في في عيالهم يشوفون كل أمنياتهم في عيالهم مثل ما أنا اليوم أشوف أمنيات أمنياتي أنا وأمنيات سيدي جلالة الملك في أحفاده ولله الحمد Bahraini endurance sport receives unwavering support from His Majesty the King, which reflects positively on the participation of Bahraini riders locally and internationally, as well as securing podiums across various championships. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has embarked on a remarkable journey in the endurance sport, thanks to the keenness and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, whose guidance has served as a beacon for the captain of the Royal Bahraini Endurance Team and all Bahraini riders. And in line with the directives of His Majesty, His Highness Sheikh Nasser strives to preserve the heritage of equestrian sport by exerting tremendous efforts to elevate horse racing and endurance and nurturing a generation of young riders capable of taking the Bahraini endurance sport to new heights. And as captain of the Royal Bahraini Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser continues to dominate international races, as he was recently crowned the champion of the Montpazier International Endurance Championship in France just six months after clinching the World Championship title in the United Arab Emirates. The extensive participation of Bahraini riders in various championships is a testament to the spread of Bahraini endurance sport and the commitment to be present in international races. And guided by the royal vision, the Royal Bahraini Endurance Team succeeded in establishing a legacy of excellence and global recognition. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development continued the activities of the Future Bet program in its second edition by presenting a series of panel discussions between the participants and a number of ministers and officials in the Kingdom of Bahrain to benefit from their experiences. Participants in the program met with Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halal Ansari, as part of the Council's keenness to interact with the youth segment as the main engine of development and the economy in the future. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women reviewed the women's political participation program and its role in qualifying women to actively participate in the electoral process and preparing them to enter the legislative and municipal councils and the awards and initiatives launched by the council with the aim of strengthening women's role in decision-making centers in various sectors. Believing in the importance of empowering youth, developing their capabilities and refining their talents to prepare effective youth leaders in the future of national political action, the Bahrain Institute for Political Development continues to present the bet the future program which is dedicated to Bahraini youth with the aim of preparing empowering youth caters to reach the dome of parliament in the future empowering and educating participants in the comprehensive development process of his majesty the king the constitution of the kingdom of Bahrain and the definition of sustainable development goals and their relationship to the economic vision of the kingdom 2030 the future bet program aims to train participants on teamwork present developmental and creative initiatives and suggestions support participants with skills and information to be able to assume national responsibility and raise political awareness among youth. Since its inception, the Prime Minister's Fellowship Program has been one of the prominent initiatives aimed at enhancing the government's work system in pursuit of the advancement of the Kingdom of Bahrain. More in this report. 
Over the course of seven batches, the Prime Minister's Fellowship Programme has proven itself as an outstanding initiative and a fundamental pillar for the advancement of government workforce in Bahrain. It comes in translation to the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to cultivate a cadre of exceptional national leaders who actively contribute to the development and progress of Bahrain. The program appoints highly talented young Bahrainis from government organizations for a one-year placement at the Prime Minister's office, during which they receive a high-level comprehensive training to enhance their core competencies in their original government roles. The program encompasses research methodologies, analytical skills and leadership development. Participants are also provided with first-hand experience in the formulation and execution of government policies and programs by working directly with officials and decision-makers at the Prime Minister's office. This remarkable initiative stands as a testament to the nation's commitment to nurturing talented individuals and fostering a sense of unity and teamwork. Guided by the visionary leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, this program not only empowers young Bahraini professionals with essential skills and knowledge, but also instills in them a deep sense of responsibility and dedication to the nation's development. The Ministry of Education in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has included the Euro University of Bahrain among the universities classified and recommended for enrollment of Saudi students. On this occasion, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Euro University of Bahrain, Sheikh Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, expressed his pride in joining the Euro University of Bahrain to the list of universities classified in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, referring to the quality of education offered by the university and the fulfillment of international standards according to international classifications, in addition to the promising opportunities to meet the needs of the labor market and the requirements of business owners. He pointed out that the addition of the Uri University of Bahrain to the list of classified universities will contribute to the status of higher education institutions in the Kingdom of Bahrain as a destination for higher education. The Ministry of Works is keen to redouble its efforts to continue developing the infrastructure of the Kingdom of Bahrain as it is essentially the construction arm of the Bahrain government and is responsible for major infrastructure such as roads, water and sanitation and public buildings. During the first half of 2023, the Ministry studied four projects related to regulating traffic on the internal road network and converting it to one direction to contribute to easing traffic congestion in addition to providing 1,200 car parking space. Last year, the total number of applications submitted from municipal councils amounted to 262 applications and the number of parking spaces implemented at the capital government amounted to 520 parking spaces, while 536 were implemented in Muharraq, 900 parking spaces were implemented at the northern government and 450 implemented at the southern government. By constructing more parking spaces, the ministry aims to increase the capacity of roads, avenues and neighborhoods in Bahrain's governance and alleviate traffic congestion resulting from wrong parking par practice by some drivers and due to the rapid urban growth in the kingdom and the increase in investment projects that has resulted in an increase in population the number of registered vehicles has also increased in an unprecedented pace this has naturally resulted in increasing the demand for parking spaces the ministry aims to provide physical infrastructure that improves the quality of life for residents of Bahrain this infrastructure supports national development goals by maximizing the potentials of the kingdom for economic progress. The activities of the 14th summer camp has concluded, which was organized by the Royal Academy of Police RAP and in a cooperation with the Labour Fund Timkin. The camp was part of the initiatives of the national plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of nationalism. Bahrainuna. The camp was part of the accomplishments of the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and held per the directives of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to encourage youth to improve their skills and capabilities. Public Security Chief Lieutenant General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan has thanked parents for trusting RAP's programs and activities, valuing the participants' dedication and support of Temkin and other public and private organizations that contributed to the camp's success. He also appreciated the hard work and efforts of the organizers.